The expedition will take about six weeks in late summer, but training began over a year ago for the crew. For general physical fitness, training at a gym is fine, but every chance to get the old Pulteney in the water helps the crew to understand how she'll perform. On this early morning session on the Thames, Mark Del Stanch and Jock Wishart are putting the boat through its paces and checking small details to be sure it can perform in the severe conditions of the Arctic where there's no chance of support if anything fails. Everything the crew needs for their epic row has to be carefully fitted to the cramped space of the vessel. That includes an onboard computer, navigation aids and satellite communications. The boat also has to generate its own power from wind and solar panels. As they make their final checks to the boat, they're also watching to see how the sea ice is melting. In early summer, the route is still blocked and will only open up gradually as the region warms. The old Pulteney's trip begins with a 4,000-mile freight journey to Resolute in the high Arctic of Canada. Only then will the cruise adventure really begin.